Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this MIT TV Sports Special. I'm Tim Meyer along with Madison Jabinette, and we're here at the Suburban Ice Arena for a varsity hockey match between the Romeo Bulldogs and the Anchor Bay Tars. The Anchor Bay, coached by Joe Zaccaro, is 11 and 5 on the year, and uh, their last game they beat Lance Cruz uh, United 5 to 2. Um, they're a defensive-minded team. Uh, they got good forechecking, and they uh, will dump it in. But they'll play more of a uh, people remember out there. Uh, uh, Red Wings team coached by Jacques Demers type of hockey where they win one nothing, two nothing. We'll see. In goal for Anchor Bay is number 30, David Gerling. And they both they need a win tonight to stay in contention. The Mac Red so. Madison, tell us a little bit about the Romeo Bulldogs. The Romeo Bulldogs have seen a little bit of a coaching change recently. Previous head coach Derek Grace has resigned, and we are going with a new co-coaching approach from Matt Burke and Mitch Bytus. Since their takeover, the Bulldogs are three and two. They have implemented no change in the routine. They're just going to keep doing what they've been doing. Tonight in goal, we've got Landon D'Angelo for the Bulldogs. And like you said, they need this win to stay in contention for the Mac Red. Yes, both teams need to uh, win tonight to stay in contention for the Mac Red. Uh, Anchor Bay Tires, coached by Joe Zaccaro, played, uh, played football for Mike Giannone over at Dakota High School. And uh, oh, there's one to hit the pipe from Bochamp. There comes Anchor Bay, dumping in. Bochamp's got it, he goes across, bounces off the boards, and it's stopped there by number 15, uh, Callan Paul. Scrumming around there, and finally coming out with it is uh, uh, Aiden French. He throws it ahead to Blankhorn. Now he's got it again. Here comes Blankhorn around the net. Bochamp chasing him, finally stopped there, gets past uh, Groskovitz. Groskovitz trying to get it out. There he bounces it off and over the blue line. And Romeo will make a change as uh, Kaylin Paul grabs it. Long stretch pass to French. He tips it with a stick. It uh, hits the net, and there's no further play. It'll be a faceoff in Madison. Uh, a little bit about that Romeo coaching change. Um, yes. It, uh, it was kind of a shock to us, but it it's was. been five games already. Yes, yes it has. Three and two records, so do have a winning record since this co-coach change we've implemented. Hopefully we can make it four two tonight. I should also mention too that uh, Romeo did lose Tanker Bay earlier in the season, so they'd like to even that baby up. Uh, knocking it out for Romeo, number 26, uh, Caleb Cusimano. Back to the Anchor Bay line. Now ahead, pass too far ahead of uh, Lee. Here comes Romeo. Oh, what a nice move by the Bulldogs. Number 13, Colin Jones. Here comes Lee for Anchor Bay. He throws it to net. D'Angelo kicks it in the corner. Uh, unable to puck still rolling around. Teams are chasing. Now, uh, Slash there on uh, number three, uh, Chris Poquette. Sarek uh, battling there, number four for Romeo. Finally pushing it ahead. Good pass there. Jones into the middle for Phipps. Giza can't control it at the line. He'll shoot it back in, though. Romeo will make a change, and here comes number five, uh, Trevor Peacock. Bounces it off the boards. Nice pass to Spina, but it's beyond him. He's a just touch pass. Here's Martin in a goal shot and a good save by Gerling. He couldn't control the rebound, but his mates were there to cover up. Gets past Weirs. The referee says no icing, so Roth will go back and get it for Romeo. Here's a pass by uh, Basha. is just kind of open ring, didn't really go to anybody. Basha misses the poke check. Goes into the corner, Roth going in there with it. He gets knocked in the back, and uh, no penalty there. It's knocked in the back by Forrester. And here comes Romeo. And it's taken away by number 13, Tommaso Antica. But Romeo will control in their own end, trying to move out here. Weir shoots it up, tipped by Basha. Romeo still trying to get out, now stolen air. Quick shot, it's blocked by uh, 
Romeo. Spina had the shot. Romeo blocked it. Now cross ice pass to Basha. He'll fire it in. It hits uh, Blankenhorn. Blankhorn. And uh, he pull it up the boards. Kept in there by Romeo. Katinsky. He keeps it in. Here comes Groskowitz. He goes after it. Still going after it. Out to take it right there in front of the goal. Quick shot goes wide. Katinsky had a shot. Sarek from the blue line. His shot behind the net. Groskowitz trying to get back out in front. Bochamp plays it off the boards. Here comes Romeo again. Shot into the anchor bay end. Groskowitz chasing it. Now go Myers going after it as well. He's got it. Back out in front of Gatinsky. He's cross checked from the back. No penalty. Well, back to the line. A quick shot by Cusimano. It's blocked, and here comes Anchor Bay. French. Trying to get around Sark. Stops. Get in the corner. Sark comes out with it for Romeo. Here he comes. Over center ice. Still stick handling. Looking for somebody. Gatinsky went right to the net. To the line, Groskowitz with it. Bounces it off the boards, trying to get a deep end. Gatinsky had, he tried to shovel the head out in front. Centering pass, and it goes right to Taylor Jones. Shooting it in, Blinkhorn. And here comes Romeo. Trying to take advantage of the anchor break. Change, and it's going to be an ice, and Cusimano thought he was going to get uh, number 29, uh, Brady Meyer, but or Brody Meyer, rather, and Brody was just not uh, in the right spot. Good pressure by the Bulldogs. Lots of shots on goal for Bulldogs keeping the Anchor Bay out of that offensive zone. Good start. And we have a pass that hit the goal post. Uh, or a shot by Romeo hit the goal did. post. It couldn't be one nothing, but uh, Gerling holding tough there in the net. Sent it out in front. Now it's knocked down the ice again. And that looks like that will be another icing. And it will. Now we have 11.46 left to play here in the first period. We have no score between the Romeo Bulldogs and the Anchor Bay Tars. Anchor Bay won their last game um, against Lance Cruz United, so. They've got at least a winning streak. A shot D'Angelo had to be sharp on that. Now uh, look out. A quick shot by Jones is saved into the netting by Gerling. And Jones just broke out of there. He had an open net uh, to shoot at the uh, corner on the glove side of Gerling. Uh, it was a nice save by Gerling. He stopped the play. Anchor Bay will regroup. Shot to go, good save by Gerling. Jones has it, he makes a nice move to get out in front. Uh, it's taken away from him by Jones, but it stopped at the point. A shot by Paquette is saved by Gerling. Had to be sharp on that one. Yeah, he did. Lots of, lots of good chances for the Bulldogs. Winning faceoffs too, it's important. And uh, Roman seemed to be uh, keeping uh, Gerling on his toes there in the, between the pipes there for Anchor Bay Tars. Phipps knocks it into the corner. Degenfelder, he's there, he's checking, but uh, gets past him. Poquette takes a shot, it's stopped there. Quick stretch pass. Goes too far for number nine, uh, Rebecca. Romeo, nice a little flip pass. Phipps can't handle it. Here's Rebecca again, Phipps checks him. Jones tried to check him, but Tommaso Antico with a nice shot there. Here comes Poquette up the left side. Got Basha breaking into the middle. And Basha had stopped it. Now it goes to the point. Jones has it. He shoots it around. It's kind of stopped there by Eichenham. There's Giza at the line. Spin around a move. Pass over to Poquette. A shot. Oh, it looks like it grazed the pipe. There's a shot from the blue line by Bochamp. That goes wide. Poquette in there, has it again to Martin. Martin's shot was tipped. Giza into the corner, flips it in there, and taking over will be uh, Reichenham. 
He gets it to the line, but it's stopped there by Romeo. Giesel will have to wait. Try to play it off the boards. He got it to Martin, and Martin shoots it in. Now Paquette's in there, pinches in, goes after it, centers it right out in front of the goal, and a shot was blocked. Martin couldn't control it. Here comes Anchor Bay, and Tika into the corner. French going after it, taking off a hit stick. Basha got it to the line, but not out. Now it's out, gets passed uh, against. And Peacock will take over for Anchor Bay. He'll just shoot it in. Here comes Romeo. Saric with a shot. Little bouncer. Good save by Gerling. Spina tried to get it out. His pass. Good checking by Giza. Flips it ahead. Saric knocks it in. Here comes Anchor Bay. Spina. Nobody with him. Comes up the left side. Phipps tried to check him, but uh, Bochamp's got it. He went around for Phipps. It stopped at the line there and knocked back in by Peacock. Spina chasing it. Gents with a shot. That goes wide. Phipps in there. Try to get it away from Peacock. It's pass. It's knocked down there by Grosquitz. He's got Giza with him. To Giza. Back to Grosquitz. Scores! So Spencer Groskowitz with the goal, putting Romeo up one to nothing on a nice pass by Mason Giza. It was a good uh, last minute pass and Groskowitz had nothing but net. After all those solid chances by the Bulldogs, one of them finally finds the back of the net on a two on one. Saric now, Romeo at the Romeo line. Kuzumano with it, looking for a play there. He got it up to Brody Meyer. He couldn't handle the pass. And it's back in. Waskowski tried to get it out, or pass to uh, Gens. Finally, here comes uh, Anger Bay. Jones with it, into the middle, it's blocked. Goes to Grosquitz, and he'll take it behind the Romeo net. Chased down there by Jones. Now he gives it away. Lee with it right out in front of the goal, and D'Angelo smothers the puck. It's a good save by uh, Landon. He had to be alert on that one. Yeah, he did. I want to say that was the first real shot on, real chance for Anchor Bay right there. Very dangerous by the Tars. So it'll be a face-off to uh, D'Angelo's right. Romeo gets control. Paquette trying to get it into the Anchor Bay end. It is in there. Bantered about there. Darren Jones has it for Anchor Bay. Gets it up to Lee. Back, looking back for Jones. He's got a head of steam, but it's, Weir has it at the blue line. He gets it out. And uh, Blaskowski's got it now for Anchor Bay. Plays it to an open wing. Jones gets it up, but Weir stops it for Romeo. Bochamp is behind, hits it off the glass. Goes out of the zone. Kept knocked it around. They're just kind of playing in the neutral zone here a little bit. Some bad bounce. Degenfelder in the Anchor Bay end, but it's stopped there by Blaskowski. Here comes the big fella. Trying to make a couple of moves. Jones is on him. And a shot that goes uh, behind the net. Oh, and Poquette took a nice big hit there. He was lined up. He's got it again. Bochamp trying to get control with the Anchor Bay Tires, chasing it in the corner. Look out, everybody. And Polk checked out of there. And uh, Romeo was going to be called for an icing. Uh, I don't know. I thought Bleskowski could have played that puck, but they are going to call an icing. So 6.43 left to play here in the first period. Romeo won and uh, Anchor Bay nothing. And you got some announcements to make. I do, yeah. Some... My, my little yeah. fundraiser, yeah. Oh. I'm having my first fundraiser as the Romeo Peach Queen for the Ronald McDonald House next Thursday. It's going to be at the Chili's on 26 in Van Dyke. 20% of your check goes towards my foundation, so I really appreciate it if anybody's able to make it out. The quick shot there by number 13, Antica. Again, Roth in the corner, trying to get the puck away. It's shot out there by... 
Martin comes Basha. Looking across, he's got a man. It's Giese. He tried to get it back to Basha, and it is blocked. The shot by Weirs is stopped there at the line, and here comes uh, Reichenham. He shoots it into the Romeo and Roth going back there. He's got it. Just kind of feathered out looking for Giza. He's got it. Mason makes a move to the middle of the ice, looking around. He's still got an open shot now. Oh, shot deflected. And keeping it in for Romeo is Cusimano. Rebecca tried to get it by Giza. Sorry, shoots it back in. Stopped there by 22 is Stalker. He's got it again. Plays it out to center. And Tika coming over the Romeo line. He's checked there. Martin got it out. He'll chase it down, but comes French. He's over the line. He's dangerous. Oh, a quick shot. Landon D'Angelo was on top of that one, and Sarich knocked the rebound into the corner. He went down a little awkward and hard. Here comes Giza for Romeo. He's got Martin with him. Giza makes his move into the middle to Martin. Quick shot, and I get saved by Gerling. Nice pass by Mason Giza. Nifty little move by Mason Giza. Oh, he gave him the old dipsy do. <laughs> Yeah, you put it right uh, on Martin's stick. So your fundraiser yes. is at Chili's. Chili's. And everybody should go there because the cause yes. is good. What is the yes. Ronald McDonald House, right? Ronald McDonald House. Right? McDonald House. We're yeah. having a raffle, too. Great chance to win some awesome prizes from many of the local businesses in downtown Romeo. We've got some cool Red Wing stuff up for grabs, too. It'll uh -huh. be a lot of fun. Well, that's good. And uh, people that don't know about the Ronald McDonald House, it is a good thing for uh, families who have uh, kids and stuff in the hospital that can't afford a hotel. They get to stay at the Ronald McDonald House. Um, it's an amazing amazing organization. They've done a lot of work for my family, so I'm very excited to be raising money for them. Roscoe, and he is leveled by uh, number 15, uh, Paul. He <laughs> just put a real lick on him. Spencer gets up, but he'll be looking for number 15 again. He won't be keeping his head down. Bochamp over to Weir. Now Brody Meyer, he'll shoot it into the Anchor Bay end. 3.50 left to play here in the first period. Blankenhorn to an open wing. Lee trying to get it out. Meyer will take over, get it back to the line. Roth has it. Cross to Poquette. Poquette coming across the Anchor Bay line, drop it back to the defense. Uh, Jones, he saw a man cutting. That was Degenfelder, and he couldn't uh, do anything with it. Roth gets it to Jones, who fired into the Anchor Bay end. Phipps chasing it, kept in again by Romeo's Jones. Puck finally knocked over Jones's head and out. Roth, a little soft pass to Phipps. He can't control it. Knocked back to Roth at the line. Romeo clears so they can come back into the zone. Peacock with it. He goes around the boards. Looking for Lee. Gets away from him. Now Leo. Take it again. He gets to the center. Jones with it. He gets it ahead to Taylor. Um, or, uh, Jones has a shot. He scores! And, uh, you know, they're just pesking around that uh, Romeo net, and in she goes. That was number 18, uh, Caden Lee uh, picking up the garbage and depositing it in the can, or in the net in this case. So we are tied here with 2.37 left to play in the first period. Romeo Bulldogs won, and the Anchor Bay Tars won. You just got to clean those rebounds yeah, up, right? Know. Sorry, right, hits it ahead. Martin tried to pluck it and go in the zone. So did Basha try to get a hold of it. They can. It's Sarich with it. And Romeo, a little bit of a step. A little spring in her step here. Giza to Basha. He knocks it in. It's off of uh, number two, uh, Reckonham. 
And on the boards, Giza pinching in. Goes Martin in a goal shot, a good save. But oh no, it goes in. It did go in. Martin with a quick wrister right between the uh, wickets of uh, Gerling. And the Romeo Bulldogs come right back. Take the lead. He tricked us with that one. <laughs> yeah, he did. I, that went through the five hole, as they say. Great response from the Bulldogs. So I'm surprised how open that, you know, Giza was there, Martin was there. The, where was the defense? Abacha going to knock it in. The Romeo Bulldogs stay at it. It's off of Giza and out of the zone. Sarge chasing. Knocks it ahead. Looking for Basha. Was uh, Martin. Passes a little bit off. Martin cross ice. Giza makes a move. Controls the puck. Oh, he hits one. It's going to bounce and uh, taken there by Jones. Jones into the zone. Try to get it to the middle to uh, number seven, uh, Taylor. Jaden Jones, rather. Couldn't do it. Here comes Romeo. Little feather pass ahead for Basha. He's got a step on his man. He tried to get to the middle. Nobody was there. Basha's still battling. Giza comes into the battle. To the blue line, Bochamp. His shot is blocked, but Weir has it at the line. He'll take a quick shot. Giza tried to tip it, and it's finally covered up by Gerling. So Giza, he's, uh, if he would have tipped that just right, uh, maybe have another Romeo goal. But good save by Gerling to be on top of it. Romeo wins a draw, Bochamp cross ice. Uh, look for Weir, he's got him. Weir gets it deeper in the end. Brody Meyer tried to get it to Grosquitz. It almost worked, now Grosquitz does come up with it. To Weir at the line, a shot. That's blocked and into the corner it goes. Towski behind the net, trying to come out in front was Romeo. Kaczynski with it again. Centers it, Meyer couldn't get much on that. Grosquitz to the line to Bochamp. Bochamp with a snap shot, and that goes just wide. Weir had it, now he lost it to French. Here comes French, he's got Bochamp back there. French taking it out, he's a good skater. Bochamp's gotta take him out, and he does. Katinsky, he's gonna have to take it from behind his own net. Got it up to Brody Meyer, here comes Meyer and Groskowitz. Grosquitz takes a quick shot, and I got saved by Gerling with 7.2 seconds left to play here in the first period. A quick shot, almost fooled Gerling. Bulldogs are going to be feeling pretty good heading into that first intermission. Been a pretty strong period from them. Yeah, they can play like that the rest of the game. Okay. They have a very, very good chance of winning this hockey game. Shot down the ice, and I think that's going to be the end of the first period of play, and that's what it is. So, after one period of play, Romeo leads it to the one, and tonight's game is sponsored by... Tonight's game is sponsored by Endeavor Aerial, founded by Larry Foltran of the Minty Breeze TV. He has brought us amazing aerial drone coverage of all of Romeo's greatest events, including the Peach Festival, Winterfest, and the Homecoming Parade. He offers aerial photos and video services for real estate, weddings, advertising, and more. Endeavor Aerial, where you can fly above the rest. Next up, we have one of our personal favorites. I get nose. I get nose, please, if I fly too. <laughs> We've got Main Street's Coffee House, our favorite local coffee house in downtown Romeo. They have amazing treats, sandwiches, and of course, coffee and tea drinks. They are open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. So make sure to stop by Main Street Coffee House and get something for me and him. <laughs> well, I heard the sandwiches are good. Sandwiches are very good. I love a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> Another special thank you to Town Hall Antiques and the Romeo Town Hall Soda Fountain, located at the corner of 32 Mile and Main, right in downtown Romeo. Town Hall has teamed up with Juliet Chocolate Factory to bring an old-fashioned fun time to Romeo. Be sure to check out three floors of antiques and the new 50s-themed soda shop at Town Hall Antiques and the Romeo Town Hall Soda Fountain. So you can have a soda while you're looking yeah. at old things. Yes. I mean, I'm not there, and I'm an old <laughs> thing. But, 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 so that's a place to go if you want to look at some yeah. cool, neat stuff. Yeah. I did see some old uh, Coca-Cola cooler in there. It looked pretty cool. Yeah. 
fun spot. Yeah. Those are our sponsors tonight. So we will be back with more hockey action right after this.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this Mitt TV Sports Special. Tim Meyer along with Madison Jevenet. And uh, we're here at Suburban Ice Arena, Romeo and Anchor Bay with uh, some varsity hockey. And the Bulldogs lead it 2-1. to one. And Madison, you've got a scoring recap for us. I do. The Bulldogs kicked off scoring tonight from number 43, Spencer Dresowitz, from Kyle Giza. <laughs> And then Anchor Bay came back with a goal from number 18, Lee. That was assisted by number 7, Jones. And then Romeo came back at the end of the period to take the lead 2-1 from number 11, Martin, which was assisted from number 6, Basha, and number 9, Kyle Giza, with another <laughs> assist on the night. Romeo coming right back after uh, getting the score tied on them. Coming back with a goal to take the lead 2-1 to one here as we start the second period. Both teams are going to need uh, this victory tonight to stay in contention for the Mac Red title. And I'm sure that Joe Zaccaro, Coach, Coach Joe Zaccaro of Anchor Bay, gave his team quite a talking to, too, as well. He's a get out to <coughs> Martin. Martin going to chase it hard there. Stolen right from the goal. Giza shoots one. What a save by Gerling. We'd like to give a, a shout out tonight, too, to one of our sponsors, Endeavor Aerial, founded by Larry Fulchern of the MIT TV. He's brought us some incredible drone coverage of Romeo's greatest events, including the Peach Festival. He offers aerial photos and video services for real estate, weddings, advertising, you name it. So head on over to Endeavor Aerial where you can fly above the rest. Sarge chasing it down for Romeo. He knocks it in to the Anchor Bay in. Anchor Bay trying to get out. Romeo pressing, doing a great job of pressing tonight. Now it's taken there by Bacha. Shots blocked. At the line. Poquette trying to keep it in. He does. Now we're going to get a penalty. Who's that going to be on? Looks like Mason Gisa going to the box. We'll have to find out what that's about. I'm not sure what the call on that one is. I think. Uh, Shot over the top of the net. I mean, the Anchor Bay shot over the top of the net and off the glass. Still in the Romeo end. Tinsky gets it to the line, but not out. Peacock turns deeper into the Romeo end. Back to Peacock. And a nice spin around move on Gatinsky. Still chases him down. Shot around there by uh, number 13, Antica. Unable to control it. Forrester gets it back to the line to Peacock. He knocks it into the zone. Bochamp has it. He stops. Makes another move. Try to get it past the line. It's stopped there by Peacock. Behind the back pass to Antica. Gutinsky rubbing him out. Trying to get a control of that puck. He's got two Anchor Bay tires tied up there. Gutinsky does. Good work on his part. Bochamp gets it around the other end. And it hits the... Boards and finally Romeo clears it down the ice here. 53 seconds left in the power play for Inker. Bay. now stolen there. Groskowitz tried to get in. He chases down, knocks down Peacock. But here comes Anchor Bay and Tika. Stopped by uh, Poquette. And Tika's got it again over the line. It looked offside and it was. I believe they called interference on Mason Giza. That was the, the penalty call there. Well, that's not nice to interfere. That's true. You ever do that? Somebody's talking and you interfere? Yeah. yeah. Not cool. Get in their business. <laughs> Mason's had a little problem with uh, trying to stay out of the box. He's a very talented hockey player. He'd stay out. Oh, what a save by Landon D'Angelo. With a quick uh, glove hand. 33 seconds left in the power play for Anchor Bay. Romeo leads it 2-1 to one here. Oh, 
Cusimano couldn't knock it out. Martin around the corner and gets to the line. Blaskowski is shot back by Basha. Here comes Lee for Anchor Ray. Over the line, Lee makes a move, try to drag it, couldn't make it, and here comes uh, Basha for Romeo. He'll just shove it into the Anchor Bay end. That power play should be over right now. Giza comes back on the ice. It'll be offside, nobody can touch it. It is offside, somebody did touch it, so it'll offside on Romeo and we'll have a face off. Great penalty kill from the Bulldogs. Maintaining our 2-1 lead. Kept it in the offensive zone for the Bulldogs too. We've had some short-handed chances. Which is good. That means that they're being really aggressive on that power play. Here comes Spina for Anchor Bay. He knocks it in. Bochamp chasing it. Being bothered there by Rebecca. Romeo get it out down the line. Chasing it down there is Stalker. He finally gets it, knocks it off the boards. It's taken there by Rebecca. It goes all the way down a weir at the Romeo line. He bounces it off the board. And uh, Knocked back in. Another one is going to be offside as Easton uh, Rebecca took that puck in after it crossed the line. Another faceoff. 13 29 with the play here in the second period. Romeo leads it 2 to 1. Now Peacock will fire it in for Anchor Bay. Bochamp bounces it first. Stopped at the line by Stalker. He'll take a shot at just wide. D'Angelo had to be careful on that. Phipps can't get it out. It's back behind the Romeo net, and Bochamp will take it. Up for Phipps. Now here comes Phipps. Goes across. This pass a little hot to handle, but it is picked up by Paquette. He goes into the corner with it. Trying to get control. Phipps has it. Peacock trying to knock him off of it. Phipps back to the line, and it goes over Roth's stick. And it'll go down to the Romeo end down the ice. Spina chasing Roth. They fired over to Bochamp, and Romeo will try to break out with it. It's Jones. Nice move coming up over the line. Trying to get by the defense, and he's knocked down there. Stalker, good job on the defense for Anchor Bay. Jones again tried to carry it in. It's knocked out. Roth didn't get much on his uh, shot. Antica. To French, he tries to cut it in. Grosskowitz was there, cut him off. Back to the line, and a shot by Eckenham. Oh, look out. Peacock again comes in there, centered by French. Knocked around, knocked out of there. Here comes Brody Meyer. Nobody with him, so he'll fire it into the open corner. Gatinsky takes out Antica, still in the anchor bay in. Grosquitz chasing. There's Grosquitz behind the net. Stops it. Looking out in front. Got a couple men down there. He's to the line, Cusimano. Back to Grosquitz. Back to Cusimano. Takes a little wrister. And nice block there by French, the captain of Anchor Bay. He's going to take it over the Romeo line with a quick snapshot. Good save by D'Angelo. Hit him up in the chest. Meyer with it. Tried to get it to the center. Finally, they get it out. Sarich will take it in for Romeo. Being bothered there by, the, by Gens. Back to the line, Gatinsky. Tries to get control. He still has it. A little backhand pass, and Grosquist was too far away to get that pass, and French will take it. Try to knock it out. They finally do get it out. But Romeo Gatinsky takes right over. He knocks it into the corner. He's going after it. Centered it right on front for Meyer, and it stopped there. Back to the line, Saric gets by him. Saric will shoot right back in. Gerling lets it bounce off the backboard and he'll settle it there for number 15. Gents, uh, Paul rather, Kalen Paul. Look out, better be hustling Weir. Almost taken down there by number 11, uh, Forrester. Now it's out uh, to Paul on the line. He'll go even farther back into his own end. Blaskowski back to Paul. Up to Earden. 
A quick give and go. Here comes Giza on the left side. He then gets control of the puck, trying to make a move out in front. He does get it out there. Right there to Martin with a shot. And a uh, great save by Gurley. Boy, Mason Giza just set old Martin up right. Clear cut, man. Don't forget, if you're listening to our broadcast right now or if you can't make it to one of our next games here at Suburban, you can download the MIT TV app from the App Store. It's free, and you can listen to us. Have fun. Talk about the game. <laughs> I mean, what could be sweeter on a Friday I night than listen to us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bochamp stops it at the line. He's cutting in. He's trying to get it to Basha. Basha will have to chase it down in the corner, and he'll shoot it around in Anchor Bay trying to get it out to Spina. Giza's got it, here he comes. Got Basha, Basha was checked, couldn't get the shot away. And he's then he's rubbed out on the boards and we're gonna get a penalty there. <whistles> penalty against uh, Anchor Bay and I thought I saw a misconduct penalty as well being called. The referee went to his hips and that would be, uh, it looks like number two, Justin uh, Rickenham. He was mad, he's hot about that penalty. And I think the referee's gonna settle him down for about yeah. 10 minutes here, whatever the <laughs> misconduct is. Gives us a great opportunity to say thank you to Main Street Coffee House, our favorite local coffee house in downtown Romeo, offering amazing treats, sandwiches, and of course, coffee and tea drinks. They're open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sunday and, and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9. So go stop by and tell them me and Tim say hi. And they won't give you anything for free for that. They but, won't, but... But you'll get good food no matter what you pay that for. That's true. Good coffee. Look out, here comes French. He'll chase it down, and Giza will get to it. Mason uh, off the boards up to Saric, who knocks it in past Peacock. Chasing it down is Martin. He goes around to uh, number two, Justin Rickenham. Um, Penalty was not on Rickenham, it was on number three, Noah Blankhorn. And he did he get he got a misconduct in there too. He did. He was misconducting. <laughs> it's equally as bad as interfering. Saric trying to knock it behind the net, get to his mates, but it's taken by Peacock. There's still a minute left on the power play for Romeo. They've yet to really get a good setup in uh, in the Anchor Bay end, Gies will take it. He'll be bothered by French. He'll stop. Cut it out to the middle. Poquette, take it across the line. He'll leave it right there at the line. Quick shot, and it goes wide. Gies will stop it there at the line. No, nope. so it's still in the corner. Basha with it, behind the net, looking for somebody out there. Got Martin in front of the net. Poquette back to Giza. In the corner to Saric, uh, look out. Martin had a chance at it, but Anchor Bay will get it and they will shoot it down the ice with 23 seconds left to play in the, or 20 seconds now in the power play. Eight minutes left in this period, in the second period. Across to Bochamp, gonna wind up, take a shot, that's wide. Slapper went wide. Grosskowitz couldn't keep it in line. Here comes Basha, he'll drop it off to Grosskowitz. Cross to Bochamp. Bochamp's shot is blocked by a stick. Basha back behind the net. Back to Dillon. Looking to make a move out front. Now it's uh, Jones has it. He turns around and fires and a good save by Gerling. And the power play is over for Romeo. Got a couple of good chances, but good chances. Uh, couldn't put the biscuit in the basket. The quick shot from the line, that goes wide. All the way around and out of the zone, picked up there by Roth. Roth has it again. And I can see right now what's going on with uh, Anchor Bay. They are now coming into a real pressing forecheck here. Romeo does break out with Poquette. 
tries to make a move around his man. He gets around him. There's a quick shot by Bosch and a save by Gurley. Wow. Poquette almost got away with his, his little move there. But Bosch was there to jotting on the spot, took a nice shot. Bosch's pass is tipped, but it's taken by Anger Bay. Here comes Lee. Takes a shot across the uh, gold crease. Nothing happened there. Peacock with it. Tried to spin around. Oh, it's stopped by Martin, but he can't control it. Peacock finally does get it out. Look out. Oh, here comes in on goal is Martin. Shoots. Did he save? Gerling makes a nice save. Stayed with him. Boy, that was dangerous for uh, Anchor Bay. Martin is having a really good period. That's his second or third really strong shot on goal. It's Anchor Bay's goalie is having to come up real big right now. Kind of bury one of those. And give Romeo some breathing room if he can bury one of those. But yes, he's been playing very well. Tonight. Cusimano does keep it in. Poquette chasing in the corner. Body and his man, he's still looking for it. Don't, um, Phipps was in there, but they couldn't come out with it. And this pass gets by Cusimano. He's gonna have to chase it down. Being chased there by uh, Forrester. Shoots it around, it stopped at the point. A shot goes high, deflected high. Oh, and there's a penalty against Anchor Bay. A little cross check in the back on Poquette. Let's see who the number is uh, who done bad there. That look, looks like it might be number 17, French. We'll see. We'll watch and see if he goes in the box. Yeah. That he is. So the team captain for Anchor Bay is going to be called probably for blocking or hitting in the back or cross check, I guess. That's what they call it. Romeo Power play again, second time this period. Jones in the corner chases it, Bosch has got it. Being bothered there by Antica, he tried to flip it past uh, number two, uh, Rickenham, and Rickenham shoots it down the ice. Forrester shoots it down the ice for Anchor Bay. Chasing it there and getting it to Antica. And finally, uh, Grosspitz goes back and he'll take it. He'll bring it up for Romeo here on this power play. Bochamp going to fire it in. Stays behind the net. Peacock with a shot out. Grosspitz stops it at the line. Right out in front of the goal is Brody Meyer. He can't get the handle on it. He was wide open there for a second. Bucks knocked up high and out of the zone. Bochamp with a nice spinorama move. Here he comes. Tries to get around another guy. He does, and then he's tripped. No call. Bochamp stays with it. Gets it to the line. Brody Meyer blocks it. He'll take a slap shot. And oh, it's over the glove of Gerling. And Bacha didn't uh, try to make a blind pass. Thought Grossquitz was there. It wasn't. And it was knocked out of the zone. Bacha can't handle the pass. And... Uh, the Bulldogs, uh, Rickenham will get it down the ice. Here comes Forrester, he could be dangerous. A nice play by Meyer to take it away. Here comes uh, Brody Meyer, go to the line, drops it back. Romeo still has it. Jones tried to drop it into the corner, was intercepted there and shot down the ice by Anchor Bay and the power play will be all but over. A long pass, it bounces off the boards right to center ice. Right, here comes Giza in on goal. Stops pass behind the back pass to Sarge and a shot by Martin. Oh, he had a chance too. Here comes Jones for Anger Bay, two on one. Shot, nice save by D'Angelo. He held his ground and covered up. 
take this time to extend another thank you to Town Hall Antiques and the Romeo Town Hall Soda Fountain located at the corner of 32 Mile in Maine in downtown Romeo. They have teamed up with Julia Chocolate Factory to bring an old fashioned fun time to Romeo. Be sure to check out three floors of antiques and the new 50s themed soda shop at Town Hall Antiques and the Romeo Town Hall Soda Fountain. You like chocolate? I do. Julia chocolate is very good. My weakness. Look out, anchor Bay right in front, hit the post. Jones hit the post. Back to the line, Paul gets by him. Here comes Mason Giza again. We got Degenfelder, tried to get it to Degenfelder. He's knocked off the puck, no call. Paul with it, goes around the corner. Tries to get it out, stopped there at the line. Weir got cross-checked, tried to keep it in, does not. And Bochamp will take over for Romeo with three minutes left here in the second period. Romeo leads it uh, two to one. Bochamp gonna shoot it all the way around. And he's got uh, Mason Giesa there. Nice pass out to Martin. Trying to get it to uh, Degenfeld. Degenfelder behind the net, he has a chance at it. You gotta watch out, the big uh, Paul there. He, he's a moose, he'll knock you down. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Jones for Anchor Bay. Quick shot, nice wrist shot, and that just goes wide of D'Angelo. Jones has it again, tried to center it. Knocked away from him, Poquette number three in the corner. Oh, and he just run. He is run by number 25, uh, Gents, and I think Gents is gonna get a penalty, or no. No. No penalty? Yes, like penalty. No penalty. <laughs> no, no penalty. Well, it should have been a penalty. <laughs> but here we go, face off in the Anchor Bay Tar in. French trying to get out of there. Being bothered there by Phipps. Now French has it. Here he comes. A little snapshot is blocked by Sarge into the corner. French has it again. Trying to be knocked out by Sarge. Sarge goes back to the front of the net where he belongs. And it goes around the corner. Poquette, he wins that battle. Gets it out to Jones. Jones uh, taking a chance. Going to fire one just wide of Gerling. Now Sarge at the point. He'll keep it in. Oh, and he lays the lumber on Gens. He'd seen Gens coming, and he, he made sure he was bracing himself, and he delivered the ball. Still scrambling for it in the corner. Gets by Cusimano. He better hustle because he's got Gens chasing him. He does get it to Saric. Saric's little flip pass. Jones can't handle it. Anchor Bay. Still four checking. There's Gens with another hit. Taking out uh, Martin. Here comes French for Anchor Bay. A little quick shot. Good. Alert save by D'Angelo. French uh, going back with it. He's being chased there by Cusimano. Cusimano tried to rub his guy out there, Antica. Antica came up with the puck, makes a nice cut to the front, but uh, that's as far as he went. Brody Meyer gets it to Grossquitz, and here comes uh, Spencer. Up the left side, cuts to the middle. Back to the line is Bochamp. Bochamp shot is blocked. Trying to get the hand line. Fired to an open wing and into the corner. Spencer Grosquitz, he kicks it ahead. And Tika finally gets to it and he'll shoot it down the ice. And that'll be icing on the Anchor Bay Tires with 24 seconds left to play in the second period. No scoring so far here in the second period, two to one. Well, Romeo, Grosquitz, Brody Meyer knocks it down, gets it behind the anchor bay net, tried to center it, the net got in the way. Again, Brody Meyer chipping away, Grosquitz with a shot, that's blocked by Forrester. We're in, he's trying to keep it in, gets it behind the net, Basha chasing. Better hurry up and get a shot off. There's a shot that's deflected into the boards and that'll be the end of the second period of play, our score. The Romeo Bulldogs two and the Anchor Bay Tars one. We'll be back with more hockey action right after this.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this Mick TV Sports Special. Tim Meyer along with Madison Jabinet. And Madison, uh, there was no scoring in that second period, but uh, how would you describe the play? The play, Anchor Bay was definitely getting a lot more physical in that second period. A lot more harder hits coming from their end. We did, we heard about the defense before the game being a pretty hard hitting defense. So they definitely started to step up a bit in that second period, which contributed to no score. But really great chances from the Bulldogs. Still uh, number 11, Martin, standing out big time for the Bulldogs. Kyle Giza having some great looks as well. So hopefully we can get a a little bit more padding on the Romeo score in this period and um, less penalties. Yes, more scoring, less penalties. <laughs> more scoring, less Hopefully penalties. on the Romeo side, yeah. as uh, they need this win to continue their hopes for the Mac Red title. And as does Anchor Bay, they still, they need a win as well to continue with the uh, quest for that Mac Red title. Before, uh, before the broadcast, not sure if everybody tuned in right at the beginning, but uh, Anchor Bay, uh, coached by Joe Zaccaro, former uh, Dakota Cougar football player. And uh, Romeo has um, their coach, Derek Grace, former coach, resigned after about five games ago. So they're co-coached by Matt Burke and Mitch uh, Bytus. And they're three and two since those two fellas took over. Well, here we go, just underway here in the third period. Anchor Bay pressing, Bochamp had it, was knocked off of his stick, but Weir will take it. He'll fire it all the way around, looking for Gross, because nobody was there. Anchor Bay picks it up, and here comes Bochamp for Romeo. Nobody back. He tries to make a move, he does on uh, Rickenham. Bochamp still got it behind the net, fires out in front, nobody there. Peacock ahead for French. Brody Meyer chasing it down for Romeo. Gonna fire it all the way around. Sarich will take it there. He makes a tip trying to get it to Gross, but kept in by Forrester. Gutowski thought he had it. It got knocked behind the Romeo net. Brody Meyer stopped at the line by Peacock. Couldn't get it out. Here comes Sarich for Romeo. Runs it ahead, keeps his head up through the defense over the line. He's with Gutowski, but uh, the pass was way behind. Uh, Julian, and back into the Romeo end. Off the glass, trying to get it out. It's kept in by the Tars. Sorry, it's with it. Lee rubs him off the puck. There's Jones looking for a chance. Basha neatly to Giza. Giza skating up over the center line. Fires a slapper just wide. Basha keeps it in. Down below, Martin looking for it. He's scrapping after it. Knocked the head. He's, uh, Basha knocked it back, but there's Lee for Anchor Bay got it out. And it's knocked right back by the Bulldogs. Blaskowski with it. The big fellow knocks it off the boards, and Don Poquette's got it. Roth playing it up to Giza. Tried to get it to Martin and pass it a little bit behind him. Basha will knock it in. Gerling stops it and gets it behind the Anchor Bay net. Giza doing some four checking there, almost got the puck. Now here's big number 15, uh, Paul. And uh, Basha it went down. I don't know if he's got a knee. He got caught there. Looks like he might have been slew foot. Took a shot. Know, did you see that, Madison? Do you I see where he collided with somebody? Or? I didn't catch the shot, but they've got the athletic trainer coming out to look at him, which is not usually a good sign. That isn't good. The knee uh, in hockey, you could get knees banging, or they call a slew yeah. foot. They just they whipped out his equipment there. It looks like he's really in a lot of pain. And I, to be quite honest, I didn't see the, sh you know, how it happened. I'm only, you know, I don't think he fell by himself. No. I'm not sure if I saw anyone around him either, but maybe the puck went off his knee or something. Maybe it got under the pads. Yeah, that could have been. Could have been that that would cause that kind of pain. Um, 
Trying to rub it off here. You're going to have to be helped off there by Grosko. Is they're going to. Can you go into the penalty box? Uh, you just gotta get, you, you, there's no penalty. He's just going to be worked on by the trainer in the penalty box. So he, hopefully he'll recover. He's a more, he's a very important part of this team. Yeah, he is. And they have a game tomorrow against Stony Creek, mm -hmm. the cancer game, right? Yep. Uh, They're going to need Basha. They're going to need him. There's a shot from the line by Rickenham. Goes into the corner. And here comes. Romeo Gutowski try to get it out. It's knocked again into the corner. Weir will chase it down. Go around the neck to Bochamp. Bochamp trying to get ahead. Knocked there down by Rickenham. He gets it into the corner. Weir's got it. He headbands it up, unable to. Oh, <laughs> Gutowski's taking a run at somebody. He missed him. And Weir will shoot it in. Uh, hits the uh, Romeo, uh, the ta uh, anchor bay. <laughs> A uh, player there on the bench, and so it's called for a faceoff. 13-41 left to play here in the third period. Romeo holding on to a two-to-one lead. Gross quits, blocks it, stays at it. Jones can't keep it in. And Tika gets it to French. French looked to take a screenshot and lost control of the puck. Saric in the corner. And deep with Antica. There's Spencer Groskowitz there. He's going to come out with it. Shot around the other side. Brody Meyer with it. Waits to clear. Makes a couple of moves. Couldn't get it out, though. He shot right to the middle of the ice. Here's Antica with a chance. Another shot scored! Well, Aiden French. Was right there on the doorstep, and he cleaned up the rebound. A bad pass by Brody Meyer trying to get it out of his own. Put it right in the middle of the ice, and it was taken quickly. Antica and uh, French. French uh, just hammering away. Those were the goals for uh, Anchor, Bay, uh, Anchor Bay tonight. Kind of rebound goals, you know. Yeah. Scrappy one. Don't look now, we're all tied at twos. Jones try to get in the gross quits. Peacock will go in the corner with it. He finally gets it out. Forrester up ahead to French. He takes a quick shot. Nice save by D'Angelo. Another chance for him, and he fanned on it. It's Jones with it. Try to get it up. Oh, they're going to call that for an icing. We thought maybe uh, Kalen Paul could have played that, but he let it go. So it wasn't French, it was Antico. So scratch that. That wasn't Aiden French, it was Antica, number 13, who got the goal. He's been a feisty player all night tonight for Anchor Bay. And if Paul's got it on the other side, he's going to bring it up. Shot in the zone. Jesus knocked off the puck. Nobody could touch it for Anchor Bay. And Martin will come up with it for Romeo. He takes the shots blocked into the corner. Gutowski going after it. Back to the line. Is Giesel with a slap shot. That's blocked and up into the netting. No further play. Don't forget, everyone, if you're unable to join us at Suburban for any home game this season, you can go onto your app store, download the MIT TV app. You can listen to Tim. You can listen to me for the rest of the season. So go check it out. Here comes uh, Anchor Bay Lee. He's checked there by Gutowski. Giza trying to come in. He's knocked off by Paul. Gutowski goes into it. Now Giza's got it. Comes to the front, looking. Tried to get it to Weir at the line. It was over the line. He had to play it over to Bochamp, who will fire it in. Romeo going after it again. Martin. Lee couldn't hold on to it. Gutowski after him, and they, Lee gets it back. Here he comes up the left side. Lee. Veskowski put it back in. Here comes. Veskowski loses it. Here's Giza in on goal. 
What a save by Gerling. And hopped right over the stick of uh, Martin. Here comes Jones for Taylor Jones trying to get in. He's knocked off the puck belted pretty good there. Martin gets it over to Giza who shoots it in. He goes after it. He's got Degenfelder chasing. Giza again back into the corner. That puck gets away from everybody. Anchor Bay will shoot it up. Spina try to stop it. There's Giza shooting it back in. Here comes Degenfelder. Degenfelder cuts to the middle. A shot. Brody Meyer tried to take a shot and he was knocked off. Uh, stick was checked at the last minute. Degenfelder tried to get it to Brody Meyer. Pass is intercepted by Anchor Bay. A little high hit there by Speed on Meyer. Not call. They're gonna call icing on this on the Anchor Bay Tars. They were just looking to get it out of their own end. So Mason Giza in on goal, all alone, and a nice save there by Gerling. He stayed right with him and stuck the pad out. I think Mason had to do again. He tried to elevate that puck a little bit. Mason Giza with a lot of breakaways tonight, a lot of great chances for him. And normally he buries them, so it's a little bit, a uh, little bit odd tonight that he <laughs> hasn't put one in the net. Good goaltending for Baker Bay. Yep. Forrester knocks it in and. Tomaso and Tika chases it down. Good forecheck by French. So he knocks it back into the Romeo end. Gross quits with it. Saric. Sit across the ice, Gross quits. He'll shoot it in. Stopped there by number 16, Peacock. Here comes Forrester. Cuts to the middle, takes a quick shot, and that goes wide. Oh, D'Angelo, it's around the corner. Grossman's going to chase that. He's got it. Right behind the net, turns around, being checked by Antica. Look out, Antica is dangerous. He has a nose to for that puck and has a knack for getting it. The shot is deflected off the back glass. Sarich is back there with Antica. Antica's still got it, trying to come out in front. That pass is blocked. Grossman's for Romeo. Set up the boards. Rips can't. Can't get it. Now it's shot around the other side. Look like out, there's a quick shot blocked there by Romeo. Peacock took the shot from the line. Now Trevor Peacock with it for Anchor Bay. Bay starting to wheel a little bit in deal. Romeo kind of, I think they're a little down because of that injury to uh, Dylan Basha. I haven't seen him back out on the ice. Paul knocks it back deeper into the Romeo end. It's French with it. He got it to the line. Slow back to the line. That shot just deflected wide. Martin with it, and we're going to get a penalty on Romeo. And I believe that's going to be number four, uh, Noah Saric. And Basha is back. So he was out there skating on that uh, shift. So that's good news. That's definitely a good sign. As a request from the ring, there is a four. So, Anchor Bay will have the power play with 8.14 left to go in the second, uh, third period. And, and you know, Romeo's going to have to suck it up. Yeah, they look a little tired. They do. This is not great time for the Bulldogs. The momentum has definitely shifted in Anchor Bay's way. So, good defense is what's needed for the Bulldogs right here. Yeah, that last goal will see to lift the spirits of the Anchor Bay Tars. And, now that pass is knocked down, but it goes to center ice. Trevor Peacock with it. Right to the middle. There's a shot by Lee. Score! <laughs> and Lee, he was wide open just from the top of that circle. He fired that puck like a laser past D'Angelo. I mean, that was a laser. Anchor Bay takes the lead now, three to two. And Romeo will be at full strength. His second and goal of the night as well. 
Romeo trying to press here for the evener here with 8.03 left to play in the third period. Laskowski, he's got it again. Looking, 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 and he'll backhand it in to D'Angelo. Takes a funny hop. Scoops it behind the net. Try to get it out. Goes past Paul. He couldn't handle it. Laskowski with it. Goes around the side. Giza's there. Giza to the middle. Basha couldn't control it as it was knocked off of his stick. Paul will take it in the corner. Well, he'll leave it for Jones. Paul flips it out. Weir will take it. Bochamp didn't get a lot on that one. And comes number seven, uh, Taylor Jones. He goes in the corner, Basha with a save there. The guy, there's Taylor Jones right up front of the goal. And what do we got, a penalty? It looks like we... Oh, no, the net came off. Following a Romeo penalty, power play goal for the Anchor Bay Tars, scored by number 18, Kaden Lee. I think Mason Giza was saying that, hey, the Anger Bay Tars uh, knocked that net off. He's talking to the referee. Why is the face off deep at our end? I think he got a good explanation. Here comes Grosquitz coming down on the left side. Three Tars are there. Gutowski going after it. Fires it over to the middle. Grosquitz off his skate and wide of the goal. Grosquitz again back to the line. Kuzumano plays it back behind the net. Brody Meyer to Grosquitz. Right out front to Gutowski and it's off his stick. He couldn't get the shot. Now it's shot in by Antica of Anchor Bay into the Romeo end. Kuzumano going in the corner with French. Tries to body him off. He does. Grosquitz around to Brody Meyer. Brody Meyer with it. And he'll shoot it off the boards for Gutowski. He can't catch it. Here comes Grosquitz and a goal scores! Spencer Grosquitz uh, picking up that loose puck and he made no mistake about that. A fortuitous bounce off the boards for him. Also his second goal of the night to <laughs> tie up the game here. Some key players coming up big for both teams tonight. Oh, it's three to three now. 6.25 up to play in the third. Romeo controls the faceoff, it's in their end. Here comes Basha back off the, I guess the injury bench. It's knocked off his stick, Kuzumano with it. Fires it in, it's knocked down there by Rickenham. Justin plays it around, looking for Spina. That's stopped by Giza, shot, look out. Giza, I'm sorry, Kuzumano from the line, it's fans on that one. Saric with it, bounces it off the glass, up for Basha. He's got a circle back, he fires it in a nice pass and he's leveled. He gets back up, Mason Giza with it. Tabasha with a quick shot and a good save by Gerling. And that puck is knocked into the netting by number 11, Colin Martin. No relation to uh, our camera person, John Martin here. But I believe the, he was on the boat as all the Martins came over from Europe. And uh, his family was with that family and they're, you know, Martin, you yeah, know I mean. It makes sense. Uh, he's probably more related to Billy Martin than John Martin. <laughs> but we don't know. Roth at the line. Plays it off to Meyer into the corner to Groskowitz. Back to Roth at the line, looking for a snapshot. It's partially blocked by the Tars. Here comes Lee. Got two goals tonight. Tried to center it. Knocked off the puck, and Lee's got it again. Look at the center, nice centering pass. Another poke at it. Grossquist gets his stick lifted. Jones is chasing it, it's kept in by Blaskowski. And right to the center, shot wide. Roth trying to clear the way. And Romeo's got it, quick pass out to Grossquist. Grossquist a snapshot, he gets it back to him. Takes another shot, Brody Meyer right in front and it goes into the corner. 
Here comes Lee for Anchor Bay. Coming up the line, Romeo changing. Laskowski with a shot. Oh, he hit the post. Paul can't keep it in. He fires it in anyway. It's touched, and there'll be a faceoff. The stoppage of play with 4.25 left to go. Romeo 3 and Anchor Bay 3. It's a very uh, intense couple of seconds there from the Tars. Lots of shots on goal. We've got D'Angelo coming up big for the Bulldogs, but a lot of chaos. It's how Anchor Bay scored a lot of their other goals. is just not clearing those rebounds. Thankfully, the Bulldogs were able to keep it out of the net this time. The shot from the line is deflected right on goal. Bochamp with that shot. Giza. He takes it back into the corner to Martin. Try to get it out to Basha in front. Oh, and Basha is like knocked down there. But here comes Giza. Right to Martin with a shot. Another chance for Colin Martin. And he's robbed by Gurley. Good to see that Basha is skating. It looks to be a little discomfort still, but he's out there. He's making hits. He's taking shots. So it's a good sign for the Bulldogs. French gets by Bochamp. Try to get it back to French. Bochamp intercepts for Romeo. He's got a lot of ice to work with here. Comes up the left side. Bochamp into the corner, chasing it down. Will he get there? I don't know. He shoves his man. It's almost knocked out, and finally will be taken out. French with it. And Basha keeps it in. Down the boards. Shooting it out and all the way down the ice. Chasing is Poquette. They're not going to call icing on this. Poquette up the boards. Gets it to Basha. Here he comes. Quick shot and a nice save by Gerling. Can't hold the rebound. Peacock over to Antica. Antica trying to get out. Blocked by Giza. Giza's got it. Tried to go to the front of the net to Martin again, but it's intercepted by Peacock. Now it's intercepted by Giza. Martin chasing it down. Goes back into the corner for Giza. He can't control it. Bounces off his stick. Peacock's got it. Giza goes back after him. Martin and Gitowski's out there. They, they can't stop uh, Anchor Bay's number seven there. Taylor Jones. And uh, finally, uh, Romeo comes up. Saric with it. Cuts to the center. Saric makes a couple nice moves. Maybe, maybe should have shot it in. Doesn't matter. Giza's got it. Mesa Giza gets his stick chopped. He, he retains possession. Corner Groskowitz. Look for Giza back in the corner. That's intercepted. No, no penalty there, folks. There was a referee with his arm up for an offside. Now we're getting to be... Uh, Two minutes here, still tied. Gutkowski after it. Grosquitz trying to keep it in. It is kept in for the moment by Brody Meyer, but intercepted there by Darren Jones. He stops. Made a move on Meyer. It's out of the zone. Darren Jones uh, couldn't make it happen. It was shot back in. Nice save by D'Angelo. Had to be aware of that. Here comes Grosquitz. Grosquitz back for Gutkowski. Gutkowski can't get it. Comes French. And I go, looking for Jones in the middle. Wasn't there. Bochamp with it. Shoots it up, and it goes into the Romeo bench. It'll be a face off. But 127 left to play. We're all tied at threes. I threes, I hear, you know, that's six total. That it is. I did that in my head. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> it was impressive. Yeah, oh, well, good. That's somebody's impressed. <laughs> Now see if Romeo will come back here and uh, get the winner. 127 left. They're going to have to get it out of their own zone. He's ahead, gotten it out. He does to Martin. Here comes Martin over the Anchor Bay line with a quick wrist shot. It hits high in the shoulder. Gurley, he does make the save. Rebounds down there. Giza with it. He tried to get a shot in. It's blocked. And here comes French for Anchor Bay. A shot. Nice blocker save by D'Angelo. In the corner they go, and Tika trying to take it. Martin's got it for his own goal, hits it off the glass, goes right to Paul. Paul's going to play it over to Blaskowski. That big fellow will knock it out to French, who gets it to Antica. Here comes Antica over the line. 
Tika tried to take a shot. Oh, it's blocked up in the face of uh, Weir. And I think the puck went off his face, down his chest, into his jersey. And that's an oucher. There's the puck. Came up. I think that's, yeah, there's the puck. Number 77, uh, Nick Weir, taking a tough one there. Trainer's out there looking at him. Hopefully he'll be all right. Hopefully he didn't lose a lose a couple of teeth in that one. Well, you have that Stevie Iserman look, you know, with his teeth out. But I think that's the badge of hockey. You have to lose your teeth. I mean, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> have to lose it too. But we hope not. We hope he's okay. Sure. Uh, we'd like to remind you folks, we'll be here again tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. Uh, puck drops uh, for Romeo, and I believe it is Stony Creek. They'll be playing. It's a cancer game. Yes. Raise some money for cancer. So tune in or come on out. Yeah. Um, or download the MIT TV app. And that's you right. Can you can watch it anywhere. Anywhere. Yep. And I know there are some people that go alone in their room, close the door. Looks like Nick, he's going to be all right. It's been a kind of a banged up game here for Romeo. A couple guys that took some bad hits. I mean, Grosquitz took some hits earlier, and he, he didn't have to go off. But Dylan Basha and then Nick Weir. Coming from that strong defense of the Anchor Bay Tars. Forty seconds left to play here in regulation. Romeo trying to hold on here to get it maybe to overtime or score the winner. Grosquitz gets it to Martin. It's over the line. Paul's got it. He's going to take it. Try to get in the corner. Martin's bothering him. Bochamp knocks him off. Looks like a roller derby thing there. Poquette gets it out. It's taken there by Antica for Anchor Bay. He'll go across to Blaskowski to Paul. Try to get ahead of the French. Passes. He didn't. French didn't see it. It's knocked into the Romeo end. And that's going to be it. We are tied at the end of three. I have to admit, Tim, I'm not completely familiar with the overtime high school hockey rules. I think we're going to play a uh, overtime for 11 minutes and see if somebody can score. And I think after that, is it going to be five on be five time. still? Yeah, I think so. It's not like it's <laughs> not <laughs> the pros do it for show. <laughs> we have a tie hockey game. Royal Bulldogs three, Anchor Bay Tars three. We will go into an eight minute overtime. I said 11, it's eight. They tricked you. They had 11 up on the board over there. Well, <laughs> I wish somebody knows what they're doing here. Doggone it. Anyway, <laughs> um, tonight's game is sponsored by. Yeah, we're sponsored by Endeavor Aerial tonight. What is that? Is that a drone thing? It is a drone thing. Ah. If you've seen any of the drone coverages of any of Romeo's amazing events, including the Peach Festival and the Winter Fest, it was brought to you by Endeavor Aerial. Additionally, we'd like to say thank you to Main Street Coffee House. You can go stop downtown, get some amazing coffee. Especially tea. in the cold weather. Yes, hot chocolate. They've got those hot chocolate flights. Have you seen those? Uh, pretty fancy stuff. Hot chocolate flights? flights. They've got, they give you a board of like five different flavors. Wow, <laughs> that's like a beer flight. <laughs> like, oh, well, I might be into that, you know, except for I don't, I, I shouldn't have it, you know, it'd be bad. <laughs> It would be so good. Basha makes a play. He shoots it down the ice. I don't think they're going to call icing or not. Anchor base Jones moves it out to his brother. And then Taylor's going to get it again. He's taking over the line. But we're looking for a snap. Oh, nice move. Here comes Jones in. And uh, Poquette recovered in time. Got it to the line to Rick and him. Try to get it in the middle. Taken by Romeo off the board. Here's Giza. Up the left side. Thought about the slapper. Now he fires out in front of the goal. And Rickham with a nice play to tip it away. 
from Basha who was cutting in. Oh, look out, Peacock. Almost got uh, run into there. Romeo making some changes. Here comes Taylor Jones. Into the middle. Drop pass, looking for his brother. Didn't work. Here comes Grosquitz. Quick shot, nice save by Gerling. The rebound is cleared. And here's Antica for uh, Anchor Bay. Tried to get it out, didn't do it. Anchor Bay with the four check. Oh, now that pass gets by uh, Kuzumano. Sarge chasing with Antica. Gonna have to get it from him because Antica is tough down there. He's a digger. Grosquitz comes up with it. Spencer Grosquitz up the right side. Goes by a man. He's into the middle. Quick shot, and that's deflected by uh, number five, Trevor Peacock. Into the netting, there'll be a faceoff to the right of Gerling. We'd like to give another special thanks to Town Hall Antiques and the Romeo Town Hall Sodathon right in downtown Romeo. Go check out the three floors of antiques, the 50s themed soda shop, and Juliet Chocolate Factory right in downtown Romeo at the Town Hall Antiques and Town Hall Soda Fountain. There you go. It is neat in there. It's just neat to go in there and look around. It is. It's a fun time in there. And Blaskowski for Edgar Ray shoots it all the way around. Brody Meyer trying to get out. He's digging at it. A couple swipes at it. Still can't get it out. Look out. Antico with a shot is bothered by Romeo. Sarich takes his man out. Goes all the way around the other side. Kuzumano will take it for Romeo. A little bit of room. Fires up to Gitowski. Gitowski. Grosskowitz with a shot. And Gerling with an alert save there. He covers up the rebound. It was a nice play by Gutowski to get it to Gerling, or to Grosquitz, and he uh, he fired that one. He had no uh, no qualms about doing that one. It was a laser he fired too. That was 5:28 left to play in this overtime. Martin wins the faceoff shot to Bochamp at the line, and goes over a top. Well, nothing. So it'll be a faceoff again. Good win by Cullen Martin there in the faceoff circle. Cullen Martin back to the line. Giza keeps it in, he fires it at the net. Basha will chase it down on the other side. And finally, uh, Lee will take it. He'll give it to Jones. Jones with his brother Trevor Jones. Knocked off the puck. Fires all the way across. Gets by Rickenham. Deeper into the Anchor Bay end. Peacock with it. And Lee makes a nice move from his own net. Still with it in the anchor band. Giza pushes him. Now look out. Here comes Lee. Two goals tonight. Fires it out in front of the goal. And uh, Darren Jones couldn't hold, hold the puck on his stick. Lee fires it up. It goes uh, behind the net and around to the point to Rickenham. Rickenham looking behind the net to Lee. Lee tipped by Bochamp. It's on the back of the net. They should call that. People are going to get their kick, skates caught, and they do. It'll be a face-off to the left of uh, D'Angelo, I believe. See how they call it. Anyway, it'll give Romeo a chance to change uh, on the line. We'll get some fresh legs out there. As will Anchor Bay. Almost halfway through this overtime hockey. Uh, Anchor Bay, 11 and five on the year. Won their last game. R Romeo uh, dropped theirs to Lake Orion. Well, we got a timeout here, or they're going to switch in. Timeout called by the Anchor Bay Cars. Anchor Bay Cars Anchor called Bay. timeout. So tell me a little bit about your yeah. foundation, Miss Romeo Peach Queen. Yeah. What is? I'm raising money for the Ronald McDonald House this year. We're having our first charity event to raise money for this incredible foundation. It's gonna be at the Chili's at 26 in Van Dyke. They're giving us 20% off, well 20% of every bill. Of every bill? towards our charity. Whether or not you have our flyer, you might see our flyer flowing around, but if you just mention the fundraiser when you go there, they will make sure to give you that amazing deal. And 
We're having a little raffle too. A chance to win some pretty um, cool prizes. What kind of prizes? Well, we've got some uh, Red Wings swag. Oh. We've got some signed pucks and sticks, and we've got Whoa. a little basket from all of the places down in downtown Romeo. Some gift cards, candles, some hair supply stuff. So. So when is that now again? It's going to be next Thursday. It's running all day next long. Next Thursday. Next Thursday, the 26th, running January 26th. All day, starting at 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Come anytime. Mention our fundraiser. I'll be there all day. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to wear your Peach Queen outfit and your maybe, crown maybe and everything? Maybe not, not the dress, but I will have the crown this You're going to have the crown yeah. on? Yeah. Oh, the coin will be yeah, there with crown. all day long. <laughs> Decked out in her jewels. Here's yeah. a shot by Blaskowski. Gets deflected up into the netting. So I would like to see that yeah. if I can. I might just stop in there and, yeah. uh, and uh, see you with your crown. Yeah. I'm, I'll give you a little wave. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, give me the queen yeah, wave. You know how they wave queen that wave. funny wave? The royalty wave. Oh, yeah. Here we go. 4.15 left to play here in the third period. Wide open for the goal. Look out. Brody Meyer there gets it up to Gatowski. He fires it in the middle looking for Grosquitz. It's deflected. Brody Meyer with it. Tries to cut in. Almost made it. Grosquitz can't control. Kuzumano does a good... Whack at it, and it's knocked into the Anchor Bay end. There's Brody Meyer with a little backhand. Look out, oh, Grosquitz was there, was knocked off his stick. I don't know if that was Paul or not. Right in front again, um, Brody Meyer tried to get into Grosquitz. Anchor Bay trying to get out. Sarich with it, he'll knock it back in. Paul's got it. He gets it to Forrester. Forrester looking, and uh, Antique has got it. He'll backhand it in behind the Romeo net. Poquette with it. He's going to go around the other side. Groskowitz fired up for Brody Meyer. Gets by him. Katkowski is chasing it down. Groskowitz with it. Groskowitz cuts the middle. Got a little bit of open ice. Makes a move at the blue line. Cutting in. Got it back for Sarix. That's knocked off his stick. Gutkowski tried to knock it deeper. It doesn't make it. Grosquitz chasing it. Gutkowski's got it. He's bruising and battling in there. So back to the line of shot. That's blocked. Taylor Jones trying to break out. Sarich uh, knocks it in. He chases it again. Sarich and a save by Gurley. Another shot by Sarich. And another shot by Bosch is blocked. Well, back to the line, Brody Meyer with a shot. Wide. Pass is taken there by Taylor Jones. Here he comes, a quick shot to the middle. Goes nowhere and he's level. Oh, look out, too many men on the ice they want. Comes uh, Bochamp with a shot, his wrister's too high. At the line, it's kept in. Got making a couple moves here is uh, number 22 there. Stalker, he tried to make a couple moves and get out. It's Meyer with it. He tried to get away from Taylor Jones. He's, Meyer gets it back to Bochamp. Bochamp all the way up. It's taken there by Basha. He's looking. Fires it to the middle. Nobody was there, but chasing it down is Martin. Trying to get it in the corner. It's stuck there along the boards. Peacock has it for... Anchor Bay, he gets it out of there. Stalker. What do we got? And that's off the mooring again? Or they call a penalty on uh, Anchor Bay? Doesn't look like a penalty. Or maybe it was offside on Romeo. They wouldn't have the face off in that end. I didn't see the referee signal, so. In any event, it's going to be a face off with 131 left in the Anchor Bay end. Goes down, Cusimano gonna chase it. He's being chased by, oh, he's sitting right in the hands of uh, Lee. Good back check by Bochamp. There's Martin with it. Got it past Rickenham on the line and they say no ice. Romeo chasing. Giza back in it, he's got it. Looking for somebody. Now he's being uh, chased and taken off his stick by French. Now Giza again's got it. Over the line, Stalker in front of him. He'll take a shot. It's deflected. Bosch with a shot. That's blocked. Rickenham 
Tried to get it out to Forrester. It's checked there. Stocker with it. He's looking. He's going to get it up uh, looking for Forrester. Here comes French. French with it. Poquette on him. Puck's deflected. Knocked out by Romeo. Oh, it's got Rollies. Puck's got Rollies. Are they going to call an <laughs> icing? No, nope. they don't. 25 seconds left to play. I don't know that a tie does either one of these teams any good. No ice, they call. 10 seconds left. Poquette's got it. It's up to Giza. So Gutkowski, has got to shoot. Straight to the goal, and Gerling makes the save. He's deflected a couple of times. And he made the save of the century for Anchor Bay, keeping them tied with Romeo. So, let's see here. That concludes this hockey game. So the game is over. Romeo Bulldogs, three. Anchor Bay Tars, three. Final is a tie. The game is over. Overtime is over. And uh, we're Final just about over here, over Madison. Game, there was some scoring in the third period. Can you help us with that? There was, yeah. The Anchor Bay Tars opened up scoring in the third period from number, from number 13, which was Antico. 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 There we go. And then the Bulldogs came back yet again from number 43, Krozwitz. And then Anchor Bay scored yet again, second goal of the night from number 18. Lee, and that ended our game at 3-3. Had a good hard-fought game played by both these squads. Uh, the season uh, is in the balance here. We'll see what happens uh, in the Eisenhower game tonight, but uh, we'll be back here tomorrow. Yep. Stony Green, you won't be back here. Be here. You, you, I'll be back next week. <laughs> we'll have the uh, Romeo's favorite son, Andrew Welch, here with us. <laughs> so for our crew here at the TV, and for Madison Jabonet, I'm Tim Meyer saying thank you for joining us here on the MIT TV. The final score, the Romeo Bulldogs three and the Anchor Bay Tars three. Good night, everyone. Good night.